hey guys so I'm going to create a video today on how to tune the carburetor so I was under the impression that the video has already been covered uh, I did talk about uh, it a bit in the cleaning video and in the video where you adjust the float so it's it's good to clean the carburetor once uh, you know every year at least uh, because one the quality of petrol is not that great in India as such and Kerala the quality is pretty pathetic uh, apart from that there is a good amount of rust in most of the bikes because the newest bike is at least 15 to 17 years old so it is advisable that you clean the carburetor every now and then so another important thing that I want to tell you is uh, um, the carburetor is never tuned uh, based on speed it is always tuned based on throttle position okay so there are three main throttle position or rather four that I will talk about so right now the throttle is closed and this is how much is the full throttle so you can see from here this you can look at this um, cut which is there from here till it moves around till here so it's uh, roughly around uh, I would say 45 degree uh, movement so at the uh, zero throttle position uh, you have the pilot jets that provide fuel if you go till about quarter throttle it is still the pilot jet so till here if your bike is not functioning well if it's not idling or if it is not uh, you know running till quarter throttle that would mean it's the pilot circuit that you need to look at from here from quarter, th quarter throttle to about half throttle it is the pilot as well as the uh, needle by needle i mean the needle in the slide so usually uh, from the company the needle comes at a position which is second or third from the bottom uh, so usually see if you can put it there but in order to save mileage some people do play around with the needle uh, position a bit so that is still the uh, three-fourth throttle that is uh, from you know zero to about half uh, you have the needle running so when you turn the throttle further from um, half to let's say full throttle or that is when you have the uh, main jet kicking in and at you know almost towards the last 20 25 percent it is the uh, it's all jets functioning together so you have to take a plug reading to understand uh, if your bike let's say is bogging down or if it is producing too much of smoke and it is not moving forward that would mean that um, you know either your jetting is not on spot or there could be more oil in the fuel so but both produces similar result so that's why i'm talking about um, so i'll now talk about adjusting or tuning so the for uh, tuning the carburetor you need uh, a small flat slide carburetor so there are two things that you can tune one is the air screw uh, which is where uh, i hope you guys can see which is where the screwdriver is and then the idle screw so in order for the uh, engine to run you need an air to fuel ratio of about 15 is to 1 so that is 15 parts of air and one part of uh, fuel so the when you are cold starting a bike that is the reason why you uh, pull the choke because at that uh, kind of a ratio a cold bike cannot start so you will have to supply more fuel <laughs> once it attains temperature then it can start at that ratio so approximately that is what needs to be tuned in so uh, the air screw by default what you do is you tune it at around uh, one and a half turn out so right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it fully tight so that's 
how tight it can go and that is fully tight you don't put a lot of pressure just gently ha ha hand tight it so now you open it one and a half turns out so that is half then that is one now it is one and a half so that is your starting position and you just turn it a bit uh, so that it starts easily otherwise it won't start so let's start the bike so you don't adjust the idle of the bike when the bike is cold you always adjust it when it has reached temperature but i am not going to wait till then so what i'm going to do is i'm going to slowly adjust it so if you turn it anti-clockwise that would mean that you're bringing the slide down by um, taking the uh, idle screw out if you turn it clockwise that would mean that the slide is going up you can hear there is a increase in the rpm so what you sh should do is you should keep it a little more than minimum where the engine starts about to die so if you look here the rpm is roughly around 1200 so when the engine reaches operating temperature then it would idle little low but uh, you know once it starts idling at that speed you slightly crank it then what you do is you look at the quarter speed okay so while you you are riding the bike if you feel that it is bogging down at a particular throttle position you have to always talk about throttle position not the speed you cannot say you know my bike kind of dies at 80 km per hour that is not the right way of saying it always say with the throttle position uh, now you can see the rpm has slightly risen that is primarily because the engine is slightly hot so what you can do is right now you can reduce it even further so i'm just turning it a bit more off and you can see now it is idling almost perfectly at around 1200 rpm okay so i'll turn it off so that's primarily how you tune the carburetor so let's say there are a couple of troubleshooting steps that i'll quickly tell you if the bike doesn't start without choke at all like even if it's a warm bike and it is not starting right now if i start this bike i'm not pulling the choke let me just show you guys it is starting okay um, and let's say it doesn't start without a choke at all doesn't idle that means your pilot circuit is blocked so you need to clean the carburetor and depending on which rpm range uh, your carburetor or your bike is misfiring or you know which throttle position it's misfiring or bogging down uh, you need to identify that and based on that you have to take a plug reading so i'll cover the plug reading in a different topic but you need to see uh, whether the mixture is lean or rich if it is lean then you make it rich by making the jets slightly bigger if it's happening beyond half throttle if it is happening till the half throttle position then first thing you do is you check if the pilot circuit is blocked clean the pilot circuit look at the position in which the needle is so once you you know eliminate those two possibilities then what you need to do is you need to look at uh, uh, the main jet so if let's say between half throttle and three fourth of the throttle if your bike is bogging down that would clearly mean that the main jet is you know causing problems so you need to check whether it's lean or rich if it's rich then what you need to do is you need to down jet that means you have to put a jet which is of a smaller size if it is lean then you have to up jet so before up jetting you have an option to check uh, by i mean before down jetting you have an option to check by removing the air filter what happens is now you are letting more air in so you know if you see the bike starts performing well things are fine at between the quarter throttle and full throttle uh, that would simply mean that uh, the jet is actually 
bigger so you need to you know bring it down so that's it for today i hope you learned something from the video thanks a lot for watching please like share and subscribe thank you